the first episode of the helmet crash test video that Motown India carried on YouTube, we did a sledgehammer crash test on ISI branded genuine helmets and unbranded local roadside helmets, some of which fraudulently carried the ISI mark. Unbranded roadside helmets simply broke into pieces on the very first impact of the sledgehammer. The video got an overwhelming response on YouTube from the public and unprecedented likes and comments. In the earlier crash test video, we had tested helmets that were in the price range of Rs 2000. All of them took more than one full impact of the sledgehammer without cracking or splitting open. Now we decided to test India's leading helmet brands in the sub 1000 rupee mark which are in the price range of 800 to 900 rupees. The brands include Steelbird, Studs, Vega, Wrangler, O2 and Autofy Hapsalite. In order to understand the real impact of the sledgehammer crash on these helmets, we decided to simulate the crash by putting watermelons the size of an average human head into the helmets before the helmets were dealt a fatal blow. The suggestion to put watermelons for our test was given by several of our viewers earlier who appreciated our efforts. Now we're starting this uh, smash test with a brand new studs helmet and this is of course a watermelon that fits like a little head inside and we are making sure that it rests perfectly and any impact has an effect on the watermelon. Here we go. Wow, it did get an impact and let's see what the effect is. It's cracked. It's obviously cracked a bit here but the helmet is safe so we are assuming that the skull is definitely stronger than this watermelon the helmet is taking the impact so it's not as strong as an expensive one which costs around 2000 rupees this is around 800 to 900 rupees so it's just taken one shot and it's got a crack Now this is the second helmet we have chosen. This is a Hapsolite brand and a brand new watermelon again. And let's see how this fellow fares. If your little head is protected inside this Hapsolite costs around the 800 rupees range and let's see how this fares. The Hapsolite uh, helmet has managed to save the little head here. You notice that the, the helmet's got a, a little crack on it, but, but the little head or the little watermelon is safe. So we recommend this helmet. At least it saved a life. Now we have a brand new Wrangler helmet costing less than thousand bucks. It's a small little head which again goes into it and as far as the Wrangler brand, I remember as a kid I used to wear Wrangler jeans. The helmet visor is cracked. This has developed a crack on the nut. Among the three, this has fared pretty bad. You can take a look. The watermelon is kind of okay. It's got some cracks here. Well, this just goes on to prove these helmets may not be able to take a bad crash. We've got the O2 helmet and we have the little head here. I've not really heard of this brand, but let's see how this fellow does. And I'm going to put him with the baby head inside and just about fits in. And I'm going to place him there. Yeah, it's fitted properly. Okay, here we go. One, two. Jesus. This is bad news. 
Our boy is dead. Inside the skull is crashed. The helmet has fared terribly. So O2 from Amazon, a big no. This is supposed to be a ISI branded helmet and it has done pretty badly. And I'm shocked by these results. It clearly shows here IS4151, the mandatory ISI trademark. And this has cleared it. And this is the result. Now we have a steel bird helmet and it's the Adonis helmet. And we're going to put this little adorable head inside. He's fitted it inside perfectly. And here we go. Here we go, he's on the bike. Wow. And I love my steel bird. It looks good. It's a boy is safe. The helmet is safe. It's not got a crack at all. I'm amazed by the results. This is amazing. It's got a little hard little bump here. It's a scratch kind, but no sizable damage. And I guess the head is safe, the helmet is safe. Now we have a Vega helmet, uh, the last in a series of uh, branded helmets and this is of course an undamaged or a watermelon. I do not believe this. The head is kind of safe. It's taken the impact, but it's not passed it on to the head. So in a way, Vega has cleared the test. It's damaged itself pretty badly and it saved the head too. Even though this fellow is safe, I would say that it could have harmed the skull inside. It's damaged pretty badly. Now that you've seen how some of the branded uh, helmets have fared, we're going to show you how terrible a uh, unbranded roadside helmet is, which we are telling you never to buy. Here we go. And you want to know the state of your head inside. This is what happens to your skull. Mind you, wearing a genuine helmet bought from a good store is any day better than wearing a local unbranded roadside helmet. They may come cheap at 100 or 200 rupees, but when you have spent a tidy sum buying your two-wheeler, we are sure a few thousand rupees will not matter. Besides, it is going to protect your head and whatever is inside in the event of a crash or fall. Now, is that not priceless? Of the six branded helmets which we bought on Amazon.in, we realized uh, it's the Steel Bird which came a winner. Not only did it save the little melon inside, assuming it's your head, but it also remained undamaged to a great extent. There's no crack on it. It is a perfect helmet. The others have all been dented and bruised pretty badly. So the winner is Steel Bird. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your little head. I like to eat people's brains. Mwah.